Hey Explorers, this is GOV for Learn Around the World's Geo Show. And I'm sorry, I know it's very, very, very windy right now. And I'm gonna try to cut my hand over this mic and see if that works. If it doesn't, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so we made it to Tulum. Uh, it was another all night bus ride. We got in about, I would say, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, 10 or so. So we're back on, it's really weird because we're in the one state in Mexico that's right on the edge of the Yucatan Peninsula. That is, we're back on East Coast time. So it, it, it was kind of messing with my head, the timing there. Uh, and then we'll go back to Central time from there once we leave here. So I wanted to show you real quick. Uh, we just made it down, we, get, we found a place to stay and we just made it down to the beach. And it was quite the trek to get here. Uh, I'll show you around here. So, yeah, beach. And as you can see, I mean, it's jungle. It was, it's very thick in there uh, with palm trees and a lot, of, uh, a lot of species of plants I have not learned yet. Uh, but it's about three miles thick to get down to the beach. But then once you get down here, uh, you can see it's a, it's a really windy day. Again, if you're just joining, I'm sorry if, uh, if it's a lot of wind on the mic. I'm trying to get my hand around on the mic. But, uh, but as we get closer, you'll be able to see how turquoise this water is down here. And uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah, it is, it is, it is a rough life. Uh, we show a lot of the good aspects of it. We didn't show the uh, 24 hours of old buses over the last four days. Um, so once we get down here, there's a, there's a lot of cool things because we're talking about natural wonders uh, this week on Geo Show. And we have the second largest uh, barrier reef in the world right off this coast here. Um, so obviously the, the largest uh, barrier reef in the world is the Great Barrier Reef. And the one off the Yucatan Peninsula is the second largest in the world. And obviously that is a huge natural wonder. Uh, it's really windy and choppy. If it was calm here, the water would be a lot clearer. You can see how it's kind of stirring up. Uh, as far as the uh, birds go, you see, I don't know if, uh, here's one right on top. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, so really high there, that's a frigate bird. And if you've never heard of a frigate bird, these are really cool birds. So you see how he just soars around really, really high. And what he does is he waits for other birds to catch fish. And then he'll dive bomb down and basically headbutt the other bird. And when the other bird drops the fish, he'll steal their fish. So they have a really unique adaptation of how they, uh, how they get their food to us. And they are soaring birds, so they do a lot of gliding around. And they're really an, an awkward bird uh, if you ever see them on land. And honestly, you don't see them on the ground too, too often. Uh, the, the other, hey, here's one kind of closer. There we go. Uh, you won't be able to see him his back lip. The other bird I saw uh, a few minutes ago here was the brown pelican. And the brown pelican is unique because uh, he's the only pelican that dive bombs. And uh, most pelicans will kind of scoop their beaks into the water. But brown pelicans, you'll see them gliding over, uh, soaring over the water, and then they'll just dive straight down and uh, get their fish that way. Because of that, you'll see older brown pelicans that, uh, there's seagull just up there. And why do seagulls fly over the sea and not the bay? Because they'd be called bagels. All right, uh, and last really cool thing I wanna show you here, if you've never been to uh, the Caribbean or tropical area, uh, of course you'll see this in all ocean life, but algae. And algae is really important to everyone on Earth, not just the ocean, because much of our oxygen on Earth is produced by the ocean's algae. So a lot of people say save the rainforest, I say save the algae. Uh, this one's really cool, it's a brown algae, even though it looks green here, and it's called sargasm. And it's got a pretty cool adaptation because if you, you see these all these little bubbles here, well, 
Um, these are kind of like little air pockets. And so this algae actually floats on top of the water, um, which is a really cool adaptation to have. Um, this is sitting on the beach. If you pull these right out of the water, uh, a lot of times you'll find a lot of organisms that are living right in the algae. So really, really cool stuff. So all right guys, um, that's gonna be it. Just a really quick uh, broadcast tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to, uh, we're going to some of the uh, cenotes and some of the underwater or underground uh, water river system. So the lo longest, largest, biggest, however you want to quantify it, largest underwater river system in the world is in this part of the world. And we're going to go explore it, check it out, and get that footage to share with you guys next week for our next round of virtual field trips. All right, guys. Uh, until next time, as always, keep exploring, and we'll see you again soon.